Good morning. It is 4.45. I'm 15 minutes away from the Van 100 start. Had a big pasta dinner last night. I'm feeling good. As ready as I'll ever be. So, should be a fun time. I'm gonna try to vlog the whole thing, but we'll see. It's rainy and I'm gonna be exhausted. So we'll see how much I pull out my phone. I suspect it'll be like a lot in the first half and then maybe one or two videos near the end. Hopefully I remember to vlog well, at the finish, but I might just pass out. So, see you guys. So this is the route for the Van 100. It begins in Deep Cove near Mount Seymour and follows the Baden Powell Trail across North Vancouver. This bird's eye view of the map will follow me along as I run the race. 5K in, 41 minutes. I'm trying to pace myself, really go slow for the first half. Cool to be out here, cool to be doing a big day and just like the energy of everyone starting it and um, ready to go suffer. It's a cool experience. I'm just so grateful to be trying this. It's really nice to be able to be out here enjoying the trails. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Ten kilometers in, woohoo! About an hour and a half, just a bit, like two minutes under. Um, feeling good, warmed up. Ninety kilometers to go. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to say. Um, I'm like the baby of the group. I'm 21. A lot of people are way older, so that's fun. I uh, have youth on my side, but lack experience. So. I've seen one guy pass me so far. A little worried I'm going out too fast, but I'm trying to like ease up. I've been putting on the brakes this whole time and like slowing down to walk, um, walking the uphills, slowing down on the downhills because I don't want to kill my legs. So we'll see. Guess we'll find out in like the back half how well I'm easing into it, but feeling good so far. Let's go. I am 15 kilometers in now, two hours, 15 minutes, well, two hours, 18 now. I just ate again, um, drinking lots of water, but not enough. So I gotta drink more, but overall, going at a good pace. I met another guy who kind of passed me. I'm excited, you know, just I'm glad to be trying this. We'll see how it goes. I've got a long day ahead of me. So far, so good. <laughs> Maybe I'll look at, back at this and think I had no clue what was coming for me, but you know, I'm mentally prepared. I can uh, suffer. So let's go. There he is. Two and a half hours in. You feeling good? Yeah. I'm trying to like ease up. Water. Can you fill this with the yeah. So after my dad met me there, my next stop would be at Cleveland Dam. And this section across Grouse Mountain is quite brutal, very technical trails and long, but I made it in feeling very good. I felt fresh and I met Brendan and Justin. It was nice to see them and Justin started pacing me for the next 50 kilometers. I just left the uh, Cleveland Dam aid station. I've got Justin and Brendan running with me now. Justin's running the next like 45K. Brendan's jo joining for a little bit. Next 300 meters. He, uh, yeah, he just <laughs> won the survival of the fittest. So, and then summited nearly Mount Rainier. So he's had a big week. But yeah, feeling good. Spirits are high. Ready for the next leg.
Kilometer 30, complete. Justin's tagging it along still. Brendan turned back. Um, feeling good still? How do you feel, Justin? Yeah, he's running the marathon with me. And I just had a 30K warm up to a marathon. So it's kind of the same. <laughs> and then a 30K cool down. It's perfect. <laughs> See you guys later. Now that's what we're in it for. Look at these views. Hey guys, we are 42 kilometers in, nearing our turnaround point. We just got to Eagle Bluffs. Nice day. Wow, my mood just completely turned around, getting off that awful snow. Yeah, the snow was really like, I was feeling it. For sure, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not exactly sure where we go down here, but we're gonna take a little water break and enjoy the view. How are you feeling, Justin? Good, I'm happy I'm running for you right now. Yeah, I'm like 16. Yeah, must be nice. <laughs> See you guys later. So you're at the halfway point, what's the time? Nine hours, 18 minutes. Nine hours, 18 minutes. So I'm on track for sub 20, which yeah, would be great. Um, that would be like 11 o'clock tonight. Yeah, so I'll be in the dark. Burke's gonna pull me through. <laughs> I'm gonna be relying on him. Justin's been clutch. Yeah. Thanks to Justin. So Justin's gonna take you to the top of the mountain and then down to the dam. Yeah. Yeah, feeling good. I can keep moving. I haven't been like exerting myself much. So I think I got some left in the tank, at least to get to the dam. You and got it. There, You're only halfway. Yeah, from there it's only 25K and I'll crawl if I have to. You get her done. Awesome job. Thanks. Keep it up. Just hit the 12 hour mark. Man, that was the hardest climb I've ever done in my life. Super steep uphill coming out from White Lake Trailhead all the way back up to Eagle Bluffs. I survived, started to feel good. When we got up to the top of Black Mountain, it was a nice descent, just pulling into Cypress parking lot. Um, yeah, gonna get some aid. Refill water, Gatorade, some snacks. I can finish this thing. It's gonna be tough though, but looking like an 11 o'clock finish, which would be 18 hours, which I'd be thrilled with. See if I can keep it up. Coming out of the Cypress parking lot, there were many creek crossings, um, such as this one, just over snow bridges that were not very trustworthy, a little scary and hard. This was a pretty brutal section. I was feeling it, but once we got to this nice long descent, started to feel a lot better. Um, it was really nice to get off the snow, and we bombed down the hill, got back on the Baden Powell Trail behind the backyards, and really we're going pretty good pace into Cleveland Dam. And this is where Burke picked me up. It was a lot later than anticipated, so I appreciated him sticking around and waiting at the trailhead for me. All right, just coming along pa Baden Powell Trail with Josh. It's around eight-ish, 
picked them up at 7.30 at Cleveland Dam. I think we'll be able to coast in before midnight. Hopefully. How are you feeling? Like I can finish. That's all we need to hear. Not amazing, but <laughs> en good enough. Good enough. <laughs> we slowly made our way across Grass Mountain and from not going too quick. I was really struggling at this point and this is about when I stopped eating at all. I was only drinking water. It started to get dark so we were turning on our headlamps, making our way across and we didn't really get a lot of video. But we did get this video of me crawling down the steps because my legs weren't working. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Um, the last section was quite brutal. Slow going, not eating was catching up to me. But I managed to finish decently strong once I got off of this. Um, Cove Runner was difficult because we had to navigate from my watch. But once I got onto the road, I was sprinting to the finish, super pumped to have got this completed and a huge accomplishment. I was really proud of it. Happy to have my family there to watch me finish at just before 1 a.m. So my final time was 19 hours, 40 minutes and Maybe I'll be back next year to try to beat that.